My name is Katherine Dermody and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Jessica Dermody and I'm Katherine's identical twin sister. We've always been together, so always having another person around you, you just get used to sharing everything. We started dancing when we were very young. We just love spending time together. I first started feeling ill actually around, it was around Christmas time. I did not share the symptoms and what I was experiencing for quite a while. I think in part of it, I was in denial. I wasn't really paying attention to them. I, I knew the pain was there. I knew I was experiencing things that maybe weren't normal, but I just didn't care at that time to really see if it was a problem or just something that was passing by. I first shared what I was feeling with my sister. She talked to me more about what she was feeling before she mentioned it to my mom, and she was more embarrassed and thought it was just her, and she she always is worrying about things, so I knew that she, she didn't want to worry my mom. When Catherine started getting sick and I knew something was wrong, it was very hard because I couldn't help her, and I I wasn't experiencing the same things, so I, I didn't know what to say or do. Not being able to dance was not fun. Um, it's something that I use for stress relief. It's something that um, I use that just makes me feel good for exercise and just something that I love doing with my sister. So I'm Dr. Hiba Eskandar and I work here at Emory University in the gastroenterology clinics and I specialize in uh, inflammatory bowel diseases, so Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. My name is Dory Gardner-Morrison and I'm a clinical research coordinator at Emory University. I work with physicians and I run clinical trials for patients who have inflammatory bowel disease, so both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Um, and basically, I'm like the patient's point of contact. So I do like the paperwork of the trials, but also meeting with the patients, um, just doing their visits, running their visits, any correspondence between them and the physician, just checking in with them, make sure that they're doing okay. This, uh, the clinical trial was presented to her as one of the many options for therapy. She had actually just been diagnosed um, with Crohn's disease. Um, and I think, you know, it probably was kind of overwhelming because Dr. Iskander and I were talking to her and we told her that we had a trial going on that she might be interested in doing. So we told her all about the trial and gave her information to look over um, to see if she'd be interested in doing it. I think the deciding factor was I wanted to, more than anything, um, be a part of something that was just bigger than just me having a disease. I wanted to help um, someone else who was facing the same kind of thing. I wanted to reach out and be a part of the IBD community and um, kind of do my part of, if I could help someone else, then I wanted to do it. The first thing I thought is, okay, I'm the mom, I can fix anything, because I have fixed anything for years. Couldn't do it, couldn't put a Band-Aid on it. I had to put her in strangers' hands and allow them to treat her. She's keeping track of how she's feeling every day. So she's keeping track of any abdominal pain she's having, any other medications that she's taking, um, and when she takes her medication for the trial. So then when she comes in for a clinic visit, we go over all those things, how she's feeling, anything changing, um, and she may have some questionnaires that she needs to fill out. So we go through those and then I relay any information, Dr. Iskander, as far as if anything had changed since her last visit. And then we both go in, speak with her. Dr. Iskander does a physical exam and then we move forward with the next visit and setting that up. One thing that Dr. Iskander told me from the beginning is she said she would never let the research get in the way of Catherine's health, the study. So I pretty much trusted after that, that if anything came up, any side effects or anything, that she would immediately tell us about it and we would do something about it. So that really helped. I think that I was very hesitant in thinking that things were gonna start to get better just because they were, they were not good um, when I was first starting. And you go through a time where you're not sure if anything's gonna get better. You don't know if this is gonna work. You don't know if you're doing the right thing. You, you're just not, you're going into the unknown. Six months into the study, you could see the change. That, you know, her stomach was settled down. She could keep down food. She felt better about things. As things were getting better, um, I was still 
very much not wanting to eat things. Um, it was very scary. And I would really take my time. So I would try one food for a week or two and see if I felt okay on it. And then if I was, then I would try something else. And I would just continue that way until um, I felt comfortable with normal, I guess, eating. I love to eat um, as healthy as I can. And um, being able to start to do that um, really made a difference. Yeah, when she first went back to dancing, um, it was great because I had missed, I've been going alone for so long, it was nice to have her there with me because we always are doing things together. So it was like I was missing another half. When I went back to my first class, I was so happy, I was so excited, and um, I was just looking forward to um, feeling the way my body would move, the way um, everything, the music and hearing um, the teacher give instruction and everything it was just, it was wonderful. I think the most satisfying thing is feeling like you're in some ways alive again.